Welcome to the video abstract for our paper on the Fermi surface topology of nickel-2 manganese gallium as measured by positron annihilation, in which we present the connection between that Fermi surface topology and the phonon properties of that material, which are at the heart of the ferromagnetic shape memory alloy phenomenon. The origin of the shape memory effect is a structural instability called a martensitic transformation which occurs below some particular temperature. Beginning in the lower temperature martensitic phase, the twin variants are realigned through the application of stress as the material is deformed. Heating the sample back up so that it re-enters the higher temperature austenitic phase restores the material to its original shape. Nickel-2 manganese gallium has the L21 structure in the high temperature austenitic phase. Below the Curie temperature, ferromagnetic order develops with a saturated ordered moment of over four Bohr magnetons. Like some other shape memory alloys, nickel-2 manganese gallium undergoes a pre-martensitic transformation to an intermediate modulated structure before finally passing through into the martensitic phase. In ferromagnetic shape memory alloys such as nickel-2 manganese gallium, the shape memory effect occurs wholly within the martensitic phase with the applied magnetic field switching between the twin variants. The connection with the Fermi surface is through the effect its shape, or more specifically its nesting properties have on the generalized susceptibility which describes the screening response of the electrons. Nesting means more singular chi of Q, thus a strong coupling between the electron and phonon systems at the nesting vector potentially giving rise to cone anomalies in the phonon spectra. Such an anomaly can be seen to develop in the TA2 phonon branch as the crystal is cooled towards the pre-martensitic temperature. Early band theoretical work carefully investigated the Fermi surface nesting, but it was Lee and co-workers who first considered the effect of temperature on the exchange splitting and hence the nesting properties of the Fermi surface, showing that the nesting vector at a temperature close to the pre-martensitic transformation match the location of the cone anomaly. Bungaro et al. provided an early computational study of the phonons in the various phases, but an experimental study of the Fermi surface was still missing. Positron annihilation is a bulk probe of the Fermi surface. Positrons are emitted from a sodium-22 source and enter the sample being studied. They thermalize and then annihilate with an electron, producing principally two gamma rays which are almost back to back. The small angle between them is proportional to the momentum of the electron-positron pair and as such contains information about the occupied momentum states and hence about the Fermi surface. In order to measure these angles, the positions of annihilation gammas need to be determined in coincidence. In practice, this is achieved using a pair of position-sensitive detectors placed typically 16 to 24 metres apart on either side of a centrally located sample chamber. The current detector system in Bristol is based on high-density avalanche chambers, or HIDACs, and this latest generation of detectors offer a position resolution and order of magnitude higher than the system used in the nickel-2 manganese gallium study presented here. In general, samples can be measured at a range of temperatures with the current spectrometer fitted with a cryocooler capable of reaching 4 Kelvin. The positron source is located at the end of a source rod which extends from the left-hand side of the sample chamber. The annihilation gammas enter through holes on the front and back side of the sample chamber. One of the detectors can be seen towards the end of the lab in the distance. A typical experiment lasts for several days and in this study six different sample orientations giving six different projections were measured before being tomographically reconstructed to give the full three-dimensional Fermi surface. Our experiment revealed a Fermi surface topology in excellent agreement with first principles calculations. Specifically, we were able to identify the nesting vector which is associated with the pre-Martensitic transition. In addition, we could also reveal another strongly nested sheet of Fermi surface which has previously been implicated by theorists as being important in the Martensitic transformation.